Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. We're at the launch of the new Adria 2021 caravans and motorhomes. There's quite a few changes for 2021 and that includes ranges including the Twin, the Matrix and the Coral. There's also a new layout on the Compact Supreme, that's the Compact Supreme SC which I'll show you and I particularly like that model. So let's start first of all with the Twin which is a great favourite for people looking for a van conversion. So what do we need to know? Well. Good news if you're a family looking for a van conversion because the Twin is now available in a family berth, five berth layout and that's the SPB. If you're just four people wanting the Twin, we've now got an additional SGX Sport Edition and that's going to give you a pop-up top. This isn't available to look at today, but the roof will pop up, which is going to give you a fixed bed in the roof and it's going to give you the bed below. Good news as well for Adria Twin lovers, the orange has returned. Yes, the orange is back. The six colours to choose from standard or you can opt for the orange as an option. Decals wise, we've got a little bit of a change. We've got black decals all down the side. We've got black Adria at the top. So it's almost like a bit of a black addition. There aren't any other great changes on the Twin. It is a fantastic vehicle. It was only new to the market just a couple of years ago, so it's not in need of any improvements, but it's great to know that we are going to get that larger berth vehicle and also the Sport Edition, which is going to give us that extra bed and sleeping area for people as well. I think that's absolutely a great addition to the range. Now, moving on, as I mentioned, there are some differences now. We've got a whole new coral and matrix. And when I say whole new, the back end is absolutely stunning. Now, the new additions, which is on the exterior and the interior, are only on the coral and matrix supreme and plus. The access range still keeps the same features and layout. Let's have a look at an example of this new 2021 model. And what we'll do is we'll venture down here and just have a look at this motorhome so you can see what I mean. So here we have the Matrix Supreme. Now, from the front, you probably don't notice too many differences. We do, though, have new LED strips here in the lights, and we do have some changes down there. It's still on the Fiat Ducato. It comes in the, at 140, although you can increase the engine power if you want up to 160, but that's going to cost you more. Good news though is the automatic gearbox is now available on the 140, so you're not going to have to pay to upgrade your engine as well. We'll come round to the off side. As we do, we'll see on the matrix the one piece window there. Now, all the Matrix Supreme and Pluses do have the drop down bed. That is the difference between them and the Coral. The Coral is more low profile and does not have the drop down bed. So, generally, you're going to get two to three berths, whereas these layouts are going to provide a lot more berths. As I say, this is the whole new Matrix. The black decals have continued down the aluminium sides. We still have the two-lay wind-out canopy, and it's as we go around the back that we see the difference in the light cluster. So what we'll do is we'll just have a look around the back of the matrix. As we come around the back, we can see the new LED lights, and we can see how Adria has changed its badging features on there as well. The back end was a good-looking back end anyway, but now we have a much more slimline bumper and the LED lights finish it off beautifully. So that's the exterior of the Matrix. The coral is the same on the back end. But let's go inside now though and see the differences in here because this is again completely new furnishings and new colour schemes altogether. So inside the Matrix, now as you can see, we've got a nice dark finish on the Matrix and the coral, which I'll show you afterwards, has gone for a different colour altogether. So we've got these dark colours here, the darker wood, 
and we've got several fabric options for you to choose from as well. Up ahead we've got plenty of storage in the lockers and I'd say they're almost a, well the colour's described as cashmere, it's going to be sort of a, a cappuccino-y colour. The bed above will drop down. We do have the Thetford Tower Fridge Freezer and I love the Thetford Tower Fridge Freezer. Loads of room in there for if you're away, whether it be a weekend or a week. Because this is the 670 SC, we see back here we've got the double bed, the Matrix and the Coral, they're all available with different beds, whether it be a great big island bed, whether it be the singles or the singles that make into that great big king size. It's completely up to you which suits you. What we do have new on Matrix and Coral is the Adria Mac and what that is, it's an additional option. You will download the app on your phone and you can then communicate with your motorhome through the app. You'll be able to measure your water, your gas usage, your heating, you'll be able to control nearly everything in your motorhome. It's also going to give you maps in the local area and around the country so you can find petrol stations, Fiat dealerships if you have any mechanical issues, Adria dealerships, campsites. It's also going to have a QR scanner. You'll scan the QR code which is in your vehicle and that will then give you the ability to download the full user manual for your motorhome. So if you're away and you experience any problems or you want to know the answer to a question, you don't have to dig out your manuals. You can go straight onto your Adria Mac app and find out those answers. So that's just a brief look around the matrix just to give you an idea of the upholsteries and the colour schemes. What we'll do is we'll venture back out and we'll go and have a look at a coral next. So here we have the Coral 670. Now this is on the Plus, not the Supreme, although it does have all the new features front and rear and a whole new upholstery and layout styles inside. One thing it's worth noting on the Plus is you can have three choices of colour on the cabin, as you can see here. The cab, we've got silver on this one. It is available in iron grey or white, depending on which you prefer. And you then get the white sides, but you do get the decals, as you can see here. Before we go inside, I just want to show you the garage. Now this is unbelievable. If you like carrying around bikes or equipment, then this garage is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, the height, you can see from where I'm stood, how much equipment you're going to be able to get into there. You're also going to find plug sockets as well. So the good thing is you can charge your electric bikes in there and the garage is heated. So that's an absolutely phenomenal space. We'll go inside now so we can have a look at the new furnishings and the style inside the coral. So inside the coral, now obviously I can't show you every different model and all the layout, so this just gives you a general idea though of the furnishings and the lighter colours. So in here on the cor coral, we've got the lighter wood as you can see. There's a couple of upholstery fabric choices that you can choose from and they do uh, offer a leather upgrade if you want. In terms of the cupboards, we've got this white colour here on these and then we've got the darker effect kitchen top. I do quite like that, I must say. We've got several drawers, they're all white as well, which does lighten up this space. Up ahead, over the cab, because in Coral we don't have the drop down bed, we have two huge sunroofs, or sunlights, that let in so much light that it's unbelievable. So you're going to have that really bright and, and airy space. What we've also got as well, is we've got new little LED lights and they're on runners and they can actually slide those lights up and down to manoeuvre them where you want. And it's also interesting underneath as well, which I think we can just see over here on my left hand side, we've got USB chargers as well. And you'll see there, that's also on a runner. So you can slide that up and down, but you can also take it out and move it within the motorhome because there's places elsewhere located where you can slide that in if you want to just charge up if you're in bed for example. Once again obviously the Coral has the big fridge freezer, this one's got the centre washroom and then we've got the twin beds at the back that convert into that huge king size. 
what I will be doing is I will be putting some information together on our website for all the new layouts that are going to be available so you can have a look there as I say today there's only a couple of models available but this gives you an idea of the uh, the new upholsteries and what you're going to be getting and obviously you can get the Mac uh, Adria Mac app as well on this so what we'll do next is we're going to head over now to the Adria uh, Compact Supreme SC. If you remember at last year's launch, I did a review of the DL. And I think that's had over 70,000 views now. It's proven a really popular motorhome. Now this, this I'm really excited about yet again. So what we'll do is we'll venture over now and have a look at the Compact Supreme SC, a whole new model for 2021. I'll see you over there. So here we are, this is the Adria Compact Supreme SC, completely new layout for 2021. And it's building on that great demand there was for the Compact. It's just under seven meters in length. It's slim, it's low profile, and it's excellent for touring in those hard to reach places. Just like the other models in the Compact Supreme range, you can see it's got the silver sides, black decals, and up above, we've got the two lay mounted wind out awning. What I do like on here is back here, we've got a nice size garage. Now the Compact Supreme has not undergone the new changes. So you're not going to get the new back end on this. You're just going to get the one that was standard for 2020, but it's a good size garage. Although you haven't got the complete height because we do have a bed here, you can see we've still got a good amount of width here in the garage and plenty of room to get lots of equipment. We've also got plenty of lighting in there and you can charge up your electric bikes and there's a USB as well. So in terms of a garage, there's certainly going to be plenty of room for all your kit in there. So that sums up a little bit of a look around on the outside. What we'll do is we'll venture in because this is where the changes are, because externally, this is pretty similar to the DL that we reviewed last year. But as we go in, we'll see what's different in the SC model. So we're in the SC and as we can see, unlike the DL that had the bench seats, we've just got the two seats here, which do have seat belts. So you will be able to transport four people. We've got the two cab seats up ahead and the table here that does extend further. Up ahead, we've got that great big sunroof again to let in lots of light. And we've also got a further hecky light above. In terms of the kitchen area, very much like the DL that we looked at before. We've got cupboard space above. We do still have a plug socket as well. And we've got the dual oven and grill down here. We've got a half tower fridge freezer here. And we've got our shower room over on this side. But what I really like is if you look behind me here is on this model, the SC, we've got an island bed. Now before you could either have a fixed bed going across the back or you could have the twin beds that converted into the double but did eat up quite a lot of floor space however here we now have a huge full-size island bed and this is why i quite like this model because i do prefer my island beds um, we've got room at each side just to get down the sides and the storage mini mini wardrobes at either side there's plenty of storage as well we've got storage under the Thetford fridge and freezer unit. We've got storage under the bed. There's the storage for your stuff absolutely everywhere, to be honest. And then in here is the bathroom. Now this is quite a clever design. You may well have seen it before in some of our vlogs. Obviously, we've got a screen that pulls round for privacy if you're on the toilet or using the basin. But then when you want to shower, you simply pull this across and it exposes the shower and there's actually a light in there as well so there's your shower and again you would keep that pulled around for privacy so there we go that was the sc i just wanted to show you this layout because obviously it's a little bit different it might offer you 
a bit more of an option with it having that fixed bed and you can raise it as well if you're getting underneath it so it's really flexible. What we'll do is we'll venture back out and we'll just do a little summary of the new Adria motorhomes. So there we are, that's a brief look around the Adria 2021 motorhomes. So we've looked at the twin and seen that we've got a new sport edition with a pop top and a bed in there. We've also got a family berth coming, which will be great if you're wanting extra room. And the orange color returns for the paintwork choice. On the coral and matrix, we've got the whole new redesign of the front and rear and the inside as well. And that's on the Supreme and the Plus. The access entry level remains as it is. The compact Supreme, we've got a new SC, but that does not have the new rear end. The Sonic, we've got a change in upholstery coming, but we don't have any changes to the rear end on that. And that generally summarizes the range of the Adria motorhomes for 2021. As and when I can, I'll be doing individual detailed reviews on various models so you can see them a little bit more closely because unfortunately we just haven't got time to do that today. But it gives you an idea. If you're considering an Adria motorhome, then please drop in the comments if you've got any questions because we do have further literature available and we might be able to answer that for you. So there we are. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.